On this episode of the Whiskey Tornado, we taste Templeton Rye Caribbean Rum Cask Finish. What's up guys, welcome back to the Whiskey Tornado. I'm your host Lance. Today I'm excited to review a very unique one for you today. We're, we're tasting Templeton Rye Caribbean Rum Cask Finish. If you're new to the Whiskey Tornado, let me quickly explain our scoring system to you. We have six categories nose, palette, finish, presentation, availability, and value. We rate each of those zero to 1.5 being average. We add those up at the end. Anything over a three is bar worthy. Anything four or better is buy a couple and bunker some. All right, guys, let's talk a little bit about Templeton Rye here. It comes to us from Iowa. This is a sourced whiskey. Uh, they are getting their juice from MGP in Indiana. And those of you that know me know I love MGP bourbon and rye, so I'm excited to try this. Um, this particular Templeton rye is a five-year rye finished in dark rum Caribbean casks. So kind of similar to Angel's Envy. Angel's Envy runs about $80 a bottle. I have a little bit left that we are going to be tasting against the Templeton rye. Um, Templeton Rye comes in at about $47 MSRP, so you know, uh, much cheaper than Angel's Envy. So we're going to taste them together and see which is better. I've got a pour here, so let's go into the nose. All right, guys, this I've taken a couple pours of this, and I got to tell you, this is a really fun, interesting bourbon to nose, uh, or I'm sorry, rye to nose. There are so many unique flavors and smells coming off of this. Um, you get maple up front, gingerbread, like gingerbread cookies, uh, very similar to the notes you get in Angel's Envy, um, but with not quite as much sweetness. And the more you dive, you start getting these like crazy notes of, I don't know if it's power of suggestion, but I get like, grilled pineapple. I get a, a really strange note I've never got of cilantro. Then there's cinnamon and brown sugar and almost like buttered rye bread. There is so much going on in this glass. There's citrus notes coming through. It's crazy. You could sit here and nose this all day long. Uh, really good nose, a lot better than average. I'm gonna give it a 0.7 on the nose. Okay, moving on to the taste. Cheers, guys. On the palate, really nice balance. You taste those nice rye notes immediately um, of, of citrus, almost like, um, almost like Sprite. I get that, I get that lemon lime citrus a lot in MGP rye. And then over that is this beautiful like banana chips almost. Let me go on for another sip. Yeah, just gently over those rye notes are maple, gingerbread, banana chips, really nice notes of spiced pear. Uh, it's really well done. I'm, I'm really enjoying the palette on this much better than average. We're gonna give it a 0.7 on the palate. Okay, on to the finish. Finish, you get all that rum spice, cinnamon there. There's a little bit of tannic notes from the oak and also just black pepper dances all over the tongue, all over the palate. Really nice finish. Again, better than average on the finish. I'm gonna give it a 0.7. Okay, moving on to the presentation. All right, I think Temple did, did an okay job on this. I think, you know, for a limited release, um, it being a Caribbean rum cask finish, uh, they could have made the bottle a little more interesting, but I like the, the uh, label on there. It's got pirate ships in the background. Um, it's their, you know, very close to their standard standard labeling. Uh, I'm gonna give it about average. Nothing crazy, um, but but not horrible either. So we're gonna give it a 0.5 on the presentation. 
All right, moving on to availability. We've got to knock it a little bit on availability. This is a limited release. Um, first time I've seen it in the store was this year and uh, I don't know how many states they're distributing to, so we're gonna give it a 0.3 on availability. Okay, our last category, value. Let's see where this stacks up. I honestly don't know. I wanna taste it against Angel's Envy before I give it a number on the value. So let me go ahead and pour some Angel's Envy. Angel's Envy is a, is a favorite of a lot of people. It is, in my opinion, a dessert whiskey. It's really super sweet and concentrated from what I remember. Um, I'm pretty much done with this bottle, so this is a good time to kill it and taste it against another uh, rum cask finished rye. So let's nose both of these and then I'll taste them and then I'll give you a, a value. This is $80 MSRP, this is 47. So um, in theory, Angel's Envy should taste a lot better, uh, but taste is subjective. So we'll find out what my palate likes. Uh, whoa. First thing on Angel's Envy is it's so much more dense and syrup sweet and it's all maple um, and gingerbread cookies. There's not a, it's so sweet there's not a whole lot else popping out. Whew, man it smells sweet. Yeah the, and the, it almost makes the nose on this invisible side by side. Okay let's go into the taste. The taste on the Angel's Envy, especially coming off the heels of, of the Templeton rye, is uh, it's just straight syrup. It's straight maple syrup. Um, it's too sweet for my palate. Um, you know, this may, I remember when I first got into whiskey, this was one I really liked, but as my palate's evolved, it's, it's too sweet for me now. Um, I'm gonna taste the Templeton right behind it. For my palate personally, the Templeton is so much more beautifully balanced and refined. This is just wham, in your face sweetness with, with tons of maple and gingerbread cookies. And if you like those notes, you're gonna love Angel's Envy if you like really sweet, um, syrupy kind of whiskey. For me, I'd rather have a good balance of the rye and the rum. I wanna taste mostly rye and just have like a delicate blanket of the rum uh, flavors on top. And I think that's what Templeton does. Um, it does it really beautifully, really nice. You taste mostly rye, you can get those citrus rye notes, um, and that buttered rye bread, but then you're getting these hints of pineapple and banana chips and different rum notes, um, all while getting that rum spice as well. I think I really enjoy Templeton a lot more than Angel's Envy, to be honest. Go back to the Angel's Envy one more time here. Oh man, that's not even close for me. This is just too sweet. It's like it's like I'm drinking a, a, a sweetener, uh, a maple sweetener. It's so strong, but I used to really like it. Uh, but if you love rise, I would give this a, a, a chance. It is fun. It has been really fun to sit down and explore the flavors and try to pick out different notes. It's super complex, it's changing, it's really delicate also. Uh, for $47, you can't go wrong. If this is 80, and I don't think this is a good value at 80, this is 47, this is a good value. Um, I think I'm gonna go 0.6 on the value um, just because it's really stacking up and beating Angel's Envy. All right, guys, that brings our final score for Templeton Rye finished in Caribbean rum casks to a 3.6, it is definitely bar worthy. I would pick this up. If you enjoy rye, if you enjoy rum, this is one you are gonna love. This would be a great summer whiskey. Um, I don't know how it would be on ice. That would be interesting to taste, but I think it's fantastic on its own. It drinks really easy, um, but it's complex enough for you to sit down and really explore all the flavors. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. If you're interested in joining us on Patreon, the link is in the description below. Come join our bourbon crew where we do tastings. Uh, I send you guys bottles. There's uh, early, uh, early merchandise access. A lot of fun stuff going on on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for the support. Cheers, we'll see you next time.